Okay, what's up everyone? So, I'm here to talk about uh, my Gelson's experience. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what Gelson's is, that's just a, uh, it's a grocery store. Um, so, as you know, I've been going to Sprouts a lot. And I wanted to branch out and try Gelson's because I saw that, uh, well, I wanted to try them anyways to see my thoughts and feelings and see their food options, which, by the way, they do have more food options than Sprouts, but I'll get into that in a bit. Um, but yeah, what, uh, what I was saying was, uh, so Charlie had commented that Sprouts is owned by Amazon. So I was like, fuck, I don't want to go there because obviously I don't want to support Amazon. Now I looked into it a little further. What, uh, what Google has said to me was that Sprouts is just partners with Amazon. Amazon doesn't own them. It's not like Whole Foods where, you know, Whole Foods is owned by Amazon. Uh, they just partnered with Sprouts. They don't own it. But still, I'm kind of supporting Amazon in a, in a way going there. So uh, I want to try to switch to Gelson's. My issue... Gelson's does not have self-checkout. And I am not a fan of that. Now, they're, they have a hand scanner, so I can, you know, stand back and let the guy hand scan it and then pay. But then there's the grocery bagger, and he was, like, yawning and stretching and stuff and waving his hands. All right, it stressed me the frick out. I don't like that shit. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of frustrating. I felt a little stressed out from it. But, um, anyways, I got the food. Going into what they had, they had a sushi section. A lot bigger than at Sprouts. But I don't usually eat sushi from these places until I see the chef. Because, I don't know, I, I've had some bad sushi at Whole Foods. It tasted really bad. But also the other day at Sprouts, I saw the chef without gloves touching stuff and putting it on the... The, he had one glove, but then he was using his gloveless hand still to touch the sushi. It's just like, what's the point of a glove if you're not going to use it? Anyways, the food I got was this Wolfgang Puck chicken aioli, which I didn't realize it until I was in line, but it says spicy chicken. I hope it's not too spicy because I don't want to shit myself. And it also has some mixed greens. Um... Yeah, it's Gelson. So they, they have a lot more options in terms of just every single kind of food. And I was going to maybe get a protein bar, but I didn't want to get chocolate, you know, and risk shitting myself. I'm lactose intolerant, so the chocolate wouldn't have been a very wise move. Um, let's see. See, I'm wondering with these Wolfgang Pucks, do they make it there or do they get these shipped in? I don't know. I didn't really like the looks of the chefs in there, to be honest. They didn't look very cleanly. Although, one of them went to the bathroom and came out and washed his hands on the outside sink, which I appreciate, because then, you know, he's not touching the bathroom sink. But he didn't wash his hands for very long. It was like five seconds. So, kind of disappointing in that front. Let's see, I'm going to turn the light on and show you all the food. Mmm, look at that. That looks delicious. Okay, cool. My hands don't smell like chemicals. I was using Lysol wipes, so I was worried the chemical smell was on them still. Um, but no, I'm fine. Let's see, I gotta find a fork. This is the brand of cutlery I get, world-centric. But um, at Sprouts, they only had the, like, mixed pack. So I couldn't get just forks, which was kind of annoying. Anyways, I'm going to dig into the salad first. I have a uh, tomato here I'm going to try to pierce. There we go. I'm going to try the tomato. Tomato's a little soft. I wish it had a bit more texture to it. Anyways, I'm going to try one of these leaves. 
very bland. These purple ones. Also pretty bland. Cucumber. Tastes like a cucumber, but it's not bad. Alright. So this is for the salad. Or not the salad. This is for the salad, I'm guessing. This sauce. And this is for the chicken sandwich. So... I'm going to go into the chicken sandwich now because I don't want to sit here eating the salad, to be honest. I'm going to eat it after, but yeah, I want the chicken sandwich first. And uh, I'm just going to... How should I do this? Whoop. I almost dropped the lid of this thing. For some reason, I wanted to call it the roof, but I know that's not right. It's the lid. Anyways... I'm going to just pour it on top of the bread here and spread it with my fork. Okay, that should be a good amount. There we go. And I will sample the sauce by itself just to get my general impressions before I uh, actually dig in. So I've got it spread on there. I'm going to try a bit. Not bad. It's got a little spice to it, but it's not where it's, like, burning you, you know? Hopefully that's enough I put on that one. I'm going to put it on the other slice of bread, too. And I still have a bit left over. Maybe I can try some salad with it or something. Or maybe spread a little more. I don't know. But I do, I do like the taste of that sauce. That sauce is going to add a lot to this, I think. So yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of extra sauce to this one, and then I'll pour the rest onto that. Uh, this second piece of bread, I'm going to show it to the camera, but you'll see it's, it's actually smaller. A little smaller in size. It's about half the size of this one. So I don't know if I went overboard with the sauce now on this one, but this got a lot more sauce. Okay, and there's still some left over. So I'm just gonna do the rest onto this. Go. that's all the sauce okay so let's just start out here with the bigger half it's kind of unfortunate they cut it this way because if you're sharing this with someone one of you would have to get a smaller one or you'd have to get a knife and cut each in half which is kind of awkward for sharing but um, I mean it is a meal pretty much for one so don't know why you'd be sharing it so it says spicy chicken I'm not getting much spice from the chicken I'm gonna try a piece on its own yeah the chicken's not spicy I don't know why they call it spicy chicken I'm noticing now there are onions at the bottom of this. I like that. They're raw. And uh, everything tastes pretty good in here. But I will will note it's a, it tastes a little less fresh than the sprouts ones. Although it's a bit more flavorful because it has sauce. Which makes me think maybe I should get sauce to start putting on my uh, sprouts sandwiches. Also, the bread is very good. It smells incredible. And, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot nicer than the bread at Sprouts. The bread at Sprouts is very plain. Yeah, I like that. That's really good. 
the sandwich gets a thumbs up from me. The salad's somewhere in the middle. Now, to be fair to it, I will dip some in the sauce they gave me and see if that changes my opinion on it. The sauce is great, but the actual lettuce just kind of meh. Once you take that initial bite and you've kind of absorbed all the sauce into your mouth, you just kind of bland lettuce. Not bad. The sandwich is the main main thing you're going for. Not as worried about the salad. Overall, this meal does get a thumbs up from me. I like it. Now, I was maybe going to try a pie, but they didn't say the sugar count on it. So, I didn't want to get it. I didn't trust that shit. Alright. I'll see y'all. I don't have much more to say. I wish they had self-checkout at Gelson's because it makes me not want to go back, the fact they don't have that. Bye.